Are you rolling? Oh, hey! What's going on, everyone? Hanging out here with Amy and Paul Caffaro. We're at the new Bush Wildlife. It's been a little while since we caught up. It's been a few months, so I wanted to kind of see what the, what's going on, because you guys are opening in September. Moving the animals in September, opening in October. Crazy. All right, well, let's see, because a few of our friends, friends of the channel, have been helping you guys out. But let's see what's new. Come on, let's check it out. Thank you to all you Patreon members out there. This week's shout out goes to Brandon Grambling. And, and I wanted to bring Paul because you, she's never met Paul. Paul's a neighbor. Yeah. And right down the road. Oh, that's I it. Have a right off sighting, so. Yeah. Right off there, yeah. Yep, so very cool. So actually, this is where we're going to be doing the. Uh, so we're going to read this. We're going to bring those over here and awesome. we're going to use them for our songbirds. Very cool. So the parents have been with us for many years. And honestly, they, they deserve retirement. So we've got some volunteers that want to adopt them, get nice. that one-on-one -on -one bond in the later years of their life. So we're going to bring them over here and put the, uh, the uh, songbirds in them. Awesome. Bobcats cool. behind you. This is looking amazing. Isn't it cool? Yeah, okay, there's so this grass. is where the custom rock, universal rock pools are going to go. Ah, I want yeah. to see those later for sure. I'll take you back to them. Okay. Um, we, you can actually see they just outlined it. They're going to be here tomorrow, digging it out and placing the pools. That's cool. Yeah. That's exciting when you start to see it come together. So what you guys are seeing, you know, when we do builds and Paul's channel and my channel, uh, we get excited when we start to see the project get closer and closer to um, being finished because then we know we're going to be adding the animals. Yeah. And the extra added bonus for you is you're going to be adding people to appreciate all the work you're doing and this has been a major labor of love how long have you been with the organization it'll be 19 years in september 19 years and then what four or five years now as executive director uh six six it's been six that years. long already six years. time flies man all right what do, what do we got going <laughs> these on these are here? where those sun catchers are going very cool the custom new cages. custom cages yes. are going to be right here so the foundation all the poured. footers got poured yesterday the gentlemen are here stripping them out now and then august they're going to come down and start assembling them for us oh and we'll be filming that guys we're going to be actually helping them put together these beautiful enclosures from customcages.com really really cool that they helped out with the build here on the sanctuary ground so this is kind of another one of those home away from homes for me it's so close uh the old facility was not too far but this facility the new and improved bush wildlife is actually only two miles from my house we better keep moving it sounds like we're gonna have some weather in here but uh yeah amazing stuff man what a beautiful place to kind of wander around and view native Florida wildlife. But Matt, even since the last time you were here, you can you notice like, dude, look at all the grass and things are really coming together, man. You can start to tell what it's gonna be now. It was just three buildings and a, and a pit before. Crazy. We got cheeky huts are up. And this is the back perimeter. This is gonna be just a service road back here. Oh man, look at this. Let's head on over to these Universal Rock prefab pools. Uh, this is something that I'm going to be talking to my friend Stuart from Universal Rocks about. This is exciting, dude. Check this out, guys. That looks amazing. I'm all excited. I kind of raced ahead of everyone. This is great. Check it out. So these are amazing. Look at this. Amy, these look fantastic. Are they huh? great? Yeah, this is great. So these are Universal Rock foam pots. I mean, th this is lightweight. You'll dig the hole and yep. then they go right in. Now yeah. we're having plumbing and pool pumps put in just oh. because of the amount of stress that our animals will put on these. Okay. Um, you know, because we're talking about you know, panthers yep. and, things like, and otters that love to dig dirt in. So we're having a whole pool system added to them. That's but cool. But this really cut down our build time and was much more economical. Yeah, obviously. it makes sense. And it looks fantastic. And then you have the larger sizes here. That's the panthers. Very cool. And bobcats. We've got some handles I guess they can pick them up with. So this was exciting to see because this would be great for applications for like some of our monitor lizards and things that would need some aquatic habitat as well. So this is really cool. Now what's this? Just a shallow? Uh, this, you know, this is the one that's a flat bottom, so we're not putting the pool system 
just a minute, but that's for our eagles. Okay. Oh, awesome. Yeah, that would so be for our So they can yard. they can drink from it. They can drink. They, they can bathe. They no, don't need something so deep gotcha. like some of the other mammals do. Awesome, man. All right. So where are we headed to next? Sorry, I beeline for this. That's fine. I was very curious about these. And then what is this enclosure right here? That's this one? Yeah. This is foxes. Ah. So red and gray foxes. Okay. But then I know you guys, because it worked for you, Ken, and we wouldn't have our connection to Aquascape. Okay. You'll see where we come around bears here. All right. We just put temporary tubs in there because in January, Aquascape's going to be coming in and building the pools like you have at your place. That's cool. And we're so. going to be filming that as well. Um, it's just, I love sharing these great people that have helped me out. Uh, Amy's helped me out with getting some of my animals medical treatment using their uh, x-ray machines. They've been very generous to me over the years. So it's kind of fun to pull together all these oh, people absolutely. I know. So yeah, so, so it's yeah, some so temporary we ponds. Some yeah. temp ponds in here. Um, we found a nursery down south that okay. had closed down. But what they were doing was they were turning it into basically a, a truck, uh, trucking transport station. So they had tons of landscape rocks. They just said, come and get them, they're yours. Get so we got about $40,000 worth of landscape rocks donated. Man, that's huge. Yeah, unbelievable. Uh, rock, whenever we build, that, that's what you need for those aquascape, that aquascape build, because that that's uh, basically what they want you to provide with yeah. rock. So you've got tons I've of I've got rock a now. whole rock quarry back there. And then we went through too, because unfortunately, big. you know, we saved thousands of trees on the property. But yep. when you're talking the middle of construction, you know, the roots get damaged and things like that. So we have a bunch of pine trees that unfortunately didn't make it, but we chunked them up and now we have those logs that we can also use for the build. That's pretty to cool. To give it dimension. Yeah, and little steps. furniture, things yeah, like that. Yeah, the goal is not like a little lazy river for the bears. I love it. I love it. This is going to be amazing. They are the man. laziest animal on the planet. So you need to have something that's just choked oh, for bears. Uh, so how excited are you for the move when you move these animals? Do you have a plan? Oh yeah, we have a plan. How do you go like, about like... You're, you're going to be a part of it. I'm a part of that plan, I guess. <laughs> Gentlemen, you're all going to come to it if you like. Right. Um, <laughs> yeah, so we're going to start uh, the last day of the Old Sanctuary, September 9th. Okay. And that's going to be emotional. I'm sure. So we're going to take Sunday to kind of decompress. Uh, and then Monday we'll start packing everything up. That'll be on the 11th. And starting on the 15th through the 19th is when our veterinarian has taken off. Um, the curator from the local zoo has taken off. And we're actually going to do most of it overnight. Okay. We're partnering with a local moving company that's giving up their air conditioned vehicles. Because that's a big problem. When you anesthetize animals, they can overheat very quickly. Okay. Since we're moving them in September, it's a real concern. So having vehicles that are totally air conditioned, doing it at night when the temperatures are already lower. Um, and then we've got police escorts so that we don't have to worry about traffic lights when we're moving them either. And what's crazy is all this thought's gone into it. And literally, the distance between the old sanctuary and the new one isn't that great. Not we're even talking five about, miles. Yeah, not even five miles, but the concern for the animals is paramount. Yes. Yeah. Very cool. I mean, that's that's incredible. It's a lot different than throwing an animal in a rider truck. You know, you don't want to be doing that. So that that's why I enjoy bush wildlife because you guys really go above and beyond for these animals. So that's really important. Um, so as you said, it is going to be emotional that last yeah. day because pretty much 19 of your years have been spent on that property and a lot of good years. Oh yeah. You know, but this is a whole new kind of uh, chapter in the bush wildlife story. So what do you expect this place to bring? What, what do you, beyond building it, what are your hopes for this place? Um, a lot of stuff, honestly. Yeah. You know, we want it to be a destination. You know, we're, we're here for the animals, no doubt. So we want to give better care to the rehab program. We want to give better care to our permanent animals. But, you know, we are a destination for Palm Beach County for people to come visit. And it doesn't have to be a theme park or ride. Right. Or, it's nature. It's what's here. It's what you should go search out anyway. So we're adding extra signage. You know, if you come and you see our bears here, but you want to see them in the wild, here's the best nature rivers to go to to try Very to see cool. a Florida black bear. Here's where you want to go. You want to go to a Dakota hatch when you want to see nesting spoon bill because we have one in our enclosure. Things like really that. Really cool. So really to try to extend it out more. Adding office teaching people what they can do in their own yards to Teach help support them. wildlife. You know, we've got a great uh, program partnership with Audubon Society for the Everglades and Palm Beach County where they're donating $10,000 to make a native pollinator garden that's supposed to attract native birds to your area. So teaching people about that and really just trying to expand the green space throughout our area and even any you know, international visitors that come, what they can do in their own tiny part of the world to help support wildlife and nature. Act locally, think globally, right? Tend to the part of the garden you can reach uh, and that's exactly what you're doing. But you know, they're reaching out and with what we do, and I'd love to have Paul get over here eventually and start doing some video because I, I think the best time 
for a real fun collaboration is going to be when we move these animals oh, because we're going to need so able-bodied young lads yeah. to lift some of these animals. I'll once pick that up. Exactly. So yeah. Well, yeah. 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 Listen, you're able-bodied. She's like, got a little broken wing still, but we'll six we'll get months you. Of a broken oh my wing. God, well, it was a pretty uh, extensive break. <laughs> but what's really cool is uh, going to be involved in that, and we'll bring you guys right along, uh, and it's going to be cool because I'm imagining once these animals uh, have been anesthetized, uh, they're going to be pretty heavy. Oh, yeah. I did have an experience, you know, with the panthers. We mm -hmm. we did that with the panthers. We had yep. to move them because of a veterinary visit. I believe that's I think what that it was. was, was broken tooth. Yeah, that was a long time, that maybe six years ago. Yeah. But uh, really, really cool stuff. So I just love popping over. Oh, and it just happened, time. it just happened. We were hanging out at Paul's house and then I was like, oh, you need to meet Amy and blah, blah, blah. And I called and you were here. So no, I thought I'd run over and get an update. And, and yeah. also too, you know, we have the, the, what we call the small mammal building, but that's kind of like our little area that we want to open that's up to right. the public. That's so right. all Is the it? Camp Cannon followers yeah. here if you guys want to meet slinky and some of those yeah we might maybe have they can come over here and hang out for a while special guests for a while exactly uh, and who knows maybe we'll have uh, some of your animals that's what, there i need to know what, what's in his collection now yeah, so like, he, let's, i'll show you the building and see what you yeah. think yeah it's a lot different than kennan's that's for sure yeah um, but i do a lot of i do a lot of fish um i have i have a lot of i don't know that i have somewhere to put fish other exactly. than inside the pool with bear yeah. <laughs> that made, we'll yeah, get some big salmon red <laughs> oh, oh, fish with oh, that. Oh, oh no it's gonna work so well anyway guys this is really fun it's always fun catching up with amy and seeing what everyone all the incredible people here at bush wildlife are doing from the construction workers to your employees and you yourself so it's a testament to the hard work and dedication of all these people to put this place together and they still have a lot more work to do and they can definitely use your help financially so in the description below you're going to be able to see bush wildlife you can go bushwildlife.org and uh you can donate there as you can well donate there you can follow us on our social media too That's because important. we'll be sharing lots of updates about the move and about fun other little contests and things like that we're gonna have going on so. all right i'm 10 years on youtube and from day one bush wildlife has been helping me out with sharing their content so let's give back to them follow them on social media and if you don't know this guy give him a follow too uh paul cafaro lannis lizards on instagram that's giovanni uh and there you go everyone a little update here at bush wildlife you hear this it's thunder and i saw lightning so it's time for us to spram see you guys later cool let's show them that Hey, so guys, do you remember a few months ago when this was bone dry? Well, this is what happens when it rains here in Florida. This is going to be their alligator and crocodile habitat. One side will be the American crocodile, and the other side will be Freddy's enclosure. Look at this amazing marsh that they have here. And in the dry season, they'll do similar to what I do at my home. They'll have access to water. They can flood this as needed, but remember, Gators create gator holes during the dry season and create their own microhabitat. So they'll be able to do that. Freddie will be able to do that here. The other cool thing is we're gonna be able to see that crocodile in a beautiful enclosure. Look at this, just so well done. What a great way to see both species of crocodilian that you can find.